streaming uh, the infectious madness of Dr. Decker today. Let's see if I'm actually yes. Uh, I am actually on. Get the microphone over. Whoops. Probably can't hear me. Or you couldn't hear me. This is really loud, don't you think? It's loud for me, too. Okay. Um, so. Let's. Let's get the link. Okay. That seems okay. Okay, I think we are good to go. Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully I am monitoring the chat. Okay, so let's rock and roll. Okay, uh, go back to the menu. Achievements. We have to make guesses. Uh, I am a rookie detective. I guess I'm going to detect. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? I can see people's dreams. I've, uh... Set up an experiment. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum suicide. Have you heard of it? If I concentrate hard enough, and I know when the person's going to be asleep, I can have the dream with them. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the paintings are watching me. Aslan de, de Eth? De Eth? That's the name of an actress? Else. She's got an Literally apostrophe in death? God loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman involved. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. It starts as a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Double blazing, probably. Dr. I wonder Decker. if I can play this with the controller. I think controller. This is not what you dreamed about last night. Seeing its silhouette changing through the window. Because he thinks I'm evil. Why do I have interlaced I video? Other people can't. On the basis, the central component of our universe is chaos. Science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you said, Doctor. <laughs> they arrested me. Which means that, that seems at any bad. given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world. No matter how much chaos that would cause. I thought you were supposed to fix me. I'm telling you, it's eating people. And you're just laughing. You're insane, Doctor. 
Listen to me. You're not listening. It's your only bloody job. Okay. This doesn't... Doctor, you're Hello. late. And Doctor. after all those promises... Never mind, Doctor. let's not keep the pace. You're late. And after all those Doctor. promises... Doctor. You're late. Doctor. You're and late. After all those, and after all those promises... Never mind. I am quite often late, apparently. I know what this is like. Act one. Who are you? Doctor, you're late. And after all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's not keep the patients waiting. And if you want anything, just... Oh, sorry. I forgot. I'm not going to be here. The police still have some questions they want to ask about, you know... Pendant. And then after that, I'm dropping in to see Ben... He's ben. still in shock, and I thought we'd show we cared. We do still care, don't we? No, Doctor. we don't care. Good. Anyway, I hope you're all caught up on Dr. Decker's tapes. I no. think Mariana is in first, but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll yep. see you later. Or tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'll leave it to you then. Nice couch. Very green. Red, keep talking to them. Amber, you're done. Uh, green, you've asked everything. Going green is optional. Okay. Watch replays in the responses tab. Look for stars. Two stars that are yellow are important conversations. One green star is an optional conversation. Stars update automatically. Try using your patient's words. I'm Ellen, I'm 25, and I'm a nurse. Typing nurse will get a response. Okay, so this is a text parser? Okay, include a yes. I guess I'm going... Type your question here or type hint. Oh my. Is she Mariana? Why does... Okay. What do I... Uh, who are you? I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? Uh, okay. Let's click on her. Why red? Keep questioning. What would you like to talk about today? That doesn't really mean anything to me. Okay. Patience, responses... Question history, my notes. Um, how do you feel? Like you're not listening. Okay. What is bothering you? That's not really helping with my blackouts. Tell me about your blackouts. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Yeah. Then but work it out. What? Okay. Blackouts. Um, uh, 
I'm a great swimmer. I won all these medals at school. I can hold my breath a really long time. Too long. Really. Oh dear. Um. What's here? Ask. Oh, okay. Responses. Question history. My notes. Uh, how long can you hold your breath? No, I don't know about that. Tell me about your anxiety. Dr. Decker thought I had generalized anxiety disorder. GAD, because of the blackouts. He thought I was breathing badly. Do you think I'm breathing badly? Oh my. This is more about cleavage than psychiatry. Um... About your blackouts, who are you? Uh, okay, anxiety. Blackouts. You can check my breathing if you want. Do you want me to lie down? Can you tell just by looking at me? I'm not worried about it, just if you are. I'm not sure holding my breath too long is causing blackouts. I mean, it could, but I don't remember ever having a blackout when I'm holding my breath. Okay. Huh. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. I got an achievement for that. Doesn't drink. Uh, I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. Okay. Pearl is great because the people are so relaxed. I think that's got a lot to do with the cheap vodka shots, or maybe it's just the black lighting. Who knows? I don't have an answer for that. <sighs> She doesn't drink. Nope. Don't know. Okay. Do you drink a lot of vodka? I don't drink. The pearl is great because the people are so relaxed. I think that's got a lot to do with the cheap vodka shots, or maybe it's just the black lighting. Who knows? Hmm.
Verbal mirroring. A new study in psychology yesterday uses the same words as your patient increases trust. Oh, okay. I'm not seeing anyone at the moment, if that's what you're asking. Why can't a girl go to a club on her own? I like dancing. I don't have many real friends, I suppose, but that's what happens when you move about a lot. Hmm. Blackouts, blackouts. She blacks out when she's dancing. Huh. Blackout, blackout. Anyone. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I still have to talk about the blackouts. Nope. I'm not seeing anyone at the moment, if that's what you're asking. Why can't a girl go to a club on her own? I like dancing. I don't have many real friends, I suppose, but that's what happens when you move about a lot. Oh, okay. Like I said, I don't really know anyone around here. Okay. Friends. I move around when I dance and geographically speaking. Okay. still have to get to the bottom of the blackouts but I've gotten to the bottom okay I'm Mariana are you feeling okay Blackouts, dancing, she doesn't drink. Um. I move around when I dance and geographically speaking. Move. 
Sarah doesn't mean anything to me. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. We still don't know why she has blackouts. She doesn't drink. She dances. She moves around a lot. from I don't know about that <laughs> well. I don't know Let's ask for a hint. What did Decker work out? There's more than one question there. Break it down for me. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? You can check my breathing if you want. Do you want me to lie down? Can you tell just by looking at me? I'm not worried about it, just if you are. Okay, let's... said lie down. Do you swim? How do you feel? Dr. Decker thought I had generalized anxiety disorder. GAD? Because of the blackouts. He thought I was breathing badly. Do you think I'm breathing badly? Okay, verbal mirroring. when I'm yeah. dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing?
What did Dr. Decker work out? I don't drink. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Ooh. You like dancing? This is annoying. Okay. What did Dr. Decker work out? I don't... 14 out of 209. I have 1% and I used one hint. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go back. Continue. Dr. Decker was fine. He had good relationships with his patients, as far as I know. I'm not sure why anyone would want him dead. Okay. I've been a patient here for three months. Today is my patient birthday. Do I get a cake or something? Okay. Hmm. Three months. Uh, uh, uh. What else? I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. She dances. No. Well, let's try someone else. I don't know. Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. No, sorry. I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy, and doing that over and over again. 
Okay. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. Hmm. I used to be a builder, contractor. I had to quit. It's hard watching a house get built and just to start all over again the next day. I needed something less obvious. Okay. Let's check the responses. Uh, supermarket, hello. Um, don't tell me about the supermarket. Um, okay, produce. I don't know. Sorry. No. <laughs> well, that's not good. Um, let's see. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes. You wake up. Shave. If you feel like it. Shower. Get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over. Groundhog Day. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? I imagine what I'm experiencing now might be a type of hell. Not everyone burns in flames with the devil on their back. I'm hoping you can make sense of my problem. Because I'm stuck between this day and the next. Most of the time, anyway. I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day, to see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? Yesterday, I didn't have an answer for you then either. Huh? No, I didn't. Sorry, got nothing. Mm. Groundhog Day. This seems very pausy. Uh, I'm gonna go back to options. Hardware acceleration is on. Hmm. Let me quit and come back. I'll be right back. Okay. Quit. I also have eight billion things open. Okay. Let's 
see if this one's better. Okay, back to Nathan. Uh, what's he got in his hand? What do you have in your hand? I can't answer that. Okay. Uh, back to responses. Groundhog Day. Change the day. I don't have an answer to that question, as always. Bill Murray. It's the same thing every day. Hell. Uh, tell me about the devil. I don't have anything to say about that. Oh. See what... I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day, to see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gotten. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? Okay, tell me about Decker. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him, but he won't remember it that way. Have we met before? I can't answer that. Uh... I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. I used to be a builder, a contractor. I had to quit. It's hard watching a house get built only to start all over again the next day. I needed something less obvious. Okay. Less obvious. So he's reliving the same day. to that question, as always. me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then either. Ugh. No. Sorry. <laughs> nope. He doesn't eat. Um. Hint. I don't have anything to say about that. I don't know anything about that. I don't know. 
Oh, these people are all annoying. This is no one. It's just gonna ring and be answered. Yep, see. Uh, 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 surely that can't be true. No, sorry. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Sorry, got nothing. I don't have anything to say about that. We have. What about purgatory? Because I'm stuck between this day and the next. Most of the time, anyway. Most of the time. Sometimes it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or ah. the weather will be less bleak. Or that, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event for change. Like a murder. I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. I pulled out and the lorry just rammed me. Well, Hannah. She was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. But it wasn't right. Not natural. Bits of metal pushing through her. That was five years ago. My fiance. My childhood sweetheart. We met at secondary school. She was head girl. I was the quiet one. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. I proposed in Goldshire. She said she didn't date elves, so I leveled up to a human necromancer and asked again. Sorry, it's Warcraft. We spent a lot of time on there. We played World of Warcraft a lot together. I guess it's not the cool thing to do anymore. But we had a lot of memories there. To be honest, it reminds me a lot of life now. The same thing over and over again. Bring me X bunnies to make a stew. Y badger teeth. Rinse, repeat. Maybe I'm just grinding life. I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy. 
and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. I'm 57. Kidding. Just if you spent the whole day at the gym and then repeat that day and not go, you'd have achieved nothing. Okay. A tragic event. What else can we do? I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. I pulled out and the lorry just rammed me. Well, Hannah. She was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. But it wasn't right. Not natural. Bits of metal pushing through. That was five years ago. I was fine for quite a while after the accident. Well, being treated for depression. I thought I was cured. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, your fault. I don't know anything about them. I was fine for quite a while after the accident. Well, being treated for depression. I thought I was cured. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? Let's try deja vu. I do suffer from depression, but it's not very surprising, is it? I used to get fatigue too, just overwhelming tiredness. I don't really get that anymore. I've just learned to accept that this is my life now. I kind of need the subtitles on to see the options. Sepia on. Let's do always. Because otherwise I have to... Okay. Uh, 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 uh. What else do we have? Tragic event. I didn't see the driver. Fault. It was I my fault. fault. I pulled out and the lorry, lorry. just... Lorry. me. Gonna do well, Lorry. Hannah. She was sat Did next Hannah to me. already. I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. But it wasn't right. Not natural. Bits of metal pushing through. That was five years ago. I've been shrunk for that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. Hannah would still be alive. We'd probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. I can't answer that. I don't have an answer to that question, as always. Okay. I've been shrunk for that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. Hannah would still be alive. We'd probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. Hmm. Okay. What? 
I don't know. <laughs> okay. What else in Groundhog? Watch that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day. Bill Murray? See if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then either. You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then either. Sorry, I've got nothing. Okay. What else about Decker? Dr. Decker was a complex man. Complex. I spent a lot of time with him, but he won't remember it that way. As far as Dr. Decker was concerned, we had Monday, then moved on to Tuesday. But me, I had Monday five, ten, fifty times before I got to Tuesday. I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker was going through. Let's just say you might look back on your life and think there's nothing you would have done differently. No two days were alike for him in the end. Like, he couldn't decide what to do with himself. Ooh, I've got to yellow with him. I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker conflict. was going through. Let's just say you might look back on your life and think there's nothing you would have done differently. No two days were alike for him in the end. Like, he couldn't decide what to do with himself. He was like a kid in a sweet shop. He had so many options, he didn't know what to do. I suppose if you take too long picking, all your options run away. No. Sorry. There's still something in Lori. Still something in Groundhog Day. Let's it's see. like those montages you get in movies. Yeah. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? Do I get anything for that? No. Uh... I've been a patient here for... Ooh. Months. Today is my patient birthday. Do I get a cake or something? Still have to figure. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed, what's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? I don't have anything to say about that. Most of my days are blur. I'm not sure if it's the sleeping tablets I'm on or just how I've learned to switch off. Mazapan. Dr. Decker prescribed them for me. He thought I'd sleep through to a whole new day. Uh -huh. I didn't.
I don't know. Sorry. Still Groundhog Day. I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day, to see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gotten. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? I've been a patient here for... Uh, stop it. So that's it. That's the lorry. I've been shrunk for that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. Hannah would still be alive. We'd probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. Mistake. No, I can't move backwards any more than a day. I don't really seem to control it. It's generally always on. I have to try and change something to move forward. Okay. What have you tried? I can't answer that. Uh. Oh, I cleared up Lori. So... Change something. I don't know anything about that. switch go back to Mariana and her responses oh okay blackouts okay. I'm Mariana are you feeling okay in the blackouts. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange breath. as I can hold my breath for a really long time. Blackouts. But I'm not swimming before I blackout. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. He eventually decided it wasn't anxiety, but I'm not going to tell you his final diagnosis. Why not? We should have a fresh start. I don't want you influenced by the prognosis. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? You think my dancing causes my blackouts? No, I know it's the last thing I remember, but I don't think it's that. Sometimes I remember more, but... I'm tired now. <laughs> Is that it for today? Ooh. By blackout, I mean I don't really remember anything from the time I black out. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. Mm. Worked it out. He eventually decided it wasn't anxiety, but I'm not going to tell you his final diagnosis. We should have a fresh start. I don't want you influenced by...
by the prognosis. Hmm. Okay. Prognosis. I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. Beach? I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? I work for myself. I make bracelets from things I find on the beach and sell them online. I spend a lot of time at the beach. It's just way more relaxing than anywhere else. You should come with me one day. I can show you all the sights. Oh. I want to stop having the blackouts. Okay. I want to stop waking up at the beach. Okay. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? That doesn't mean anything to me. Mm. Okay. I work for myself. I make bracelets from things I find on the beach and sell them online. I spend a lot of time at the beach. It's just way more relaxing than anywhere else. You should come with me one day. I can show you all the sights. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Okay. It's early days. The business isn't doing that great, but I really enjoy my job if that helps. You can make a lot of money or you can have a lot of fun, but you can't usually do both. Fun. No, I don't know about that. Okay. Do, do, do. Huh. When I wake up on the beach, I normally feel refreshed, which is weird, right? I'm not scared. Not yet. I just want to know what's going on. Huh. Okay. I don't know. Check the notes. Okay. Perhaps Mariana should stop going to the beach. Uh, I love the beach. Until somebody tells me it's going to kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? I have no idea about that. Okay. Beach, okay. Stop going to the beach. somebody watch or record her nope don't know nope that's 
not really helping with my blackouts. <sighs> Back to prognosis. I want to stop having the blackouts. Okay. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Remember? Can you suggest anything that might help? What do you remember? By blackout, I mean, I don't really remember anything from the time I black out. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? She doesn't drink. Sometimes ah. it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak, or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event for change. Like a murder. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. De Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Try a different person. I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. Okay. Terry's one of the other nurses at the home. I don't think she likes me very much. I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> Ask me something else. Okay. I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically do end-of-life care. OK. 
Okay. The usual things. Making sure the patients are comfortable. Making sure they're not in any pain. Okay. And I talk to them. I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. Death is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great unknown. No one should have to face that alone. Uh. I'd really like to be able to answer you, but I don't know what to say. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? <sighs> I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? Huh. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but... I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? I don't know anything about that. No, sorry. I don't believe in God, so I can't really claim to believe in heaven. I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. Herbal remedies, oh. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? I'm a qualified herbalist. Oh, it's okay, Jesus. you can laugh. Most people think herbalism is a joke. But I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. Uh. Traditional medicine makes patients worse sometimes, don't you think? You must see it all the time, Doctor. You take one pill, then have to take five other pills to deal with the side effects. Herbs are kinder. Obviously, you have to be careful, just like with everything. Giving the wrong combination can be deadly. Fortunately, I know what I'm doing. Huh. No. It's the Sorry, second time we've know. heard of Tamazepan. Let's check the meds. I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, oh, yeah. but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. 
I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? Hell isn't real. Whoever came up with that idea has a lot to answer for. Okay. I thought I was stuck in purgatory once, but then I realized I was just watching a really, really bad film. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible at jokes. Ha ha. Okay. Still uh, a bit of horror. I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? I feel really bad I can't answer your questions. Um, I like animals. Let's talk about that. Cannibals? I don't know. I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? I'm a qualified herbalist. It's okay, you can laugh. Most people think herbalism is a joke. Ugh. But I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. Oh, there it is. Nothing. Uh. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. Okay. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Everybody's got a cool necklace. Can be sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient, but that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. I haven't really got anything to say about that. Maybe we should talk about you. Stress problems. I don't know. Sorry. Nope. Nothing about me. Okay. Problems? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few okay, months ago. Okay, a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. Yeah. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. I did stressful. It can be sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient but that's the job I don't get stressed about it or anything it's not the job that stresses me it's the people I work with the other nurses oh they're mean to me I don't know anything about that mm. They call me the angel of death because so many patients have died on my shift. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think they mean it. The 
obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. They're old. People die when they're old. I mean, medically speaking, it's heart failure or organ failure or pneumonia. They're all natural causes though. I feel really bad. She's I can't killing her patients. Um, I like animals. Let's talk about that. Welsh name. I'm not Welsh. My mum's into all that new age stuff and I think she thought it would make me seem more interesting. <laughs> I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> Ask me something else. No, sorry. New age, like auras and healing energy, crystals and all that. It's not really my thing. <sighs> okay. No, sorry, I don't know. They call me the angel of death because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Mm, three last month. Ooh. Three the month before that, I think. Ooh. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. She's one of the crotchety ones. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me, though. Oh. Let's go back to Decker. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. Okay. Dr. Decker was different. He was a bit offbeat. But, yeah, I liked him. But then, I like most people. Okay. Still got Valhalla and Decker. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. Beat, but yeah, I liked him. 
But then I like most people. There you go. You learn something new every day. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. I'd really like to be able to answer you, but I don't know what to say. I'm just naming Norse gods. I haven't really got anything to say about that. She knew about Odin. Maybe we should talk about you. Why do you want to talk about me? I don't know. Sorry. Huh. <sighs> okay. The meds. I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? Okay. really bad at this, aren't I? Well, <laughs> Ask me something else. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. Okay. Let's go to somebody else. Still have red, but I've got yellow with Nathan. Let's try Claire. My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect to be able to speak. Okay. No, that doesn't mean anything to me. Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Okay. Uh... I'm obsessed with my husband. Okay. It's absurd, really. Husband? Because he is here, and he shouldn't be. What? He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. I should have divorced him. I wish I had. So much could have been avoided. Our altercation. The downfall since. Tell me about the altercation. 
I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behaviour, but I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. Huh. The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. I need you to believe me. That's why I'm paying for these sessions. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. Okay. What do I need to believe? Sorry, Doctor, I can't answer that. Okay. I don't know anything about it. Okay. I need you to believe me. Yeah. That's why I'm paying for these sessions. Okay. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. I assume they think I'm dangerous because I stabbed my husband. Oh. Okay. I need you to believe me. That's why yeah. I'm paying for these sessions. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. They think I'm seeing things, making things up. I don't want to talk about it. Seeing things? Yes, Dr. Decker did think I was delusional when he first met me. He changed his mind after getting to know me better, as I hope he will too. Okay. So let's go back to the police. The police seem to think I'm dangerous. Dangerous? I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. Okay. Being rich has its perks, but honestly, I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. Okay. Prison. I suppose after what I did, there are people that might think I belonged in prison. What do you think, Doctor? Can I be saved with therapy, or should I be locked up like a dangerous criminal? Okay, I cleared out the priest. Uh, let's do therapy. I don't have anything to say about that. Nope. Dangerous criminal. Uh, locked up. That's disappointing. Don't you want to try to make me better? At least Dr. Decker gave it a shot in his own way. Okay. Let's go back to money. Being rich has its perks, but honestly, I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. Okay. Tell, tell me about the madness. I'm in a bit of a predicament, Doctor. I'll get to that. Okay. Uh, give up money. No. Nope. Let's go back to the altercation. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. Tell me about your anger. I never used anger. to get angry. Ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Ooh. Let's save that for another 
the time, shall we? I'm rich, but I'm not made of money, and I'm fairly sure my time is up. Really? Okay, I cleared out what would have been avoided. Our altercation. The downfall since. Yeah, downfall. This is exhausting, Doctor. I'm not used to spitting everything out in one session. Okay, she wants to leave. Almost died. My husband is not a well man. We've well. been having problems for a while now. His health, if we can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't mm. cope with caring for him anymore. Oh, caring. David has trouble looking after himself. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. Huh. Why can't you hire anyone to care for him? David has trouble looking after himself. David. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. David's not ready for company. I hope to take you to see him one day and you'll see for yourself. Okay. His health, health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Since our altercation he's become less and less active his mind's become less and less active too such a delightful conversationalist at one time now more of an enigmatic husk mm. david's staying at the lake house it belonged to my parents but i don't use it much anymore i have the main house to myself staying at the lake house yeah it belonged to my parents but i don't use it much anymore i have the main house to myself how long has he been there no Um, why did you stab husband, David? It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. Okay. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. Iris was David's assistant optician. Yeah. Not anymore. 
No, not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. <laughs> it's just that I changed the optician into a florist after David died. Optometry was his dream, not mine. Now David's dead? Wait, what? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Iris was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. No, not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. <laughs> it's just that I changed the optician into florist after what happened with David. Optometry was his dream, not mine. Oh. Okay. I don't know anything about that, Doctor. No. It was no. a brief moment of temporary insanity. Yeah. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. Yeah. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. Yeah. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. David doesn't work now. He's not very communicative anymore, so a job is out of the question. He used to be an optician. Now he just spends all his time at the lake house, frittering his time away. Okay. Lake house frittering. He abhors technology. Mainly hunts things and then creates huge, unwielding fires that I'm sure will be the death of him and the lake house at some point. Huh. Fires. I don't have an answer to that. No. Tell me about the fires. Going to have to plead ignorance on that no, one. No technology. Hunting. If I knew anything about that, I'd tell you. Yeah. But I don't. Tell me about Dr. Decker. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that it didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Uh, how long did you know Decker? I don't understand what you're getting at, Doctor. No. Please be more specific. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that it didn't bring it upon himself. Bring it upon himself. Then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Decker just had that look about him. You know what they say about us crazies. Takes one to know one. Haven't I hit all of her money? Being rich has its perks, but honestly, I would give it all up in a heartbeat if perks? it could free me from this madness. I don't work. I don't need to. Everything's paid for a hundred times over. Okay. I cleared up money. I still have problems with husband. I should have divorced him. 
I wish I had. So much could have been avoided. I must have done the divorce, haven't I? Divorce is such an imperfect means of separating yeah. two people, don't you think? I suppose I don't really mean it. I thought he was my soulmate and that I would do anything for him. That's a weakness that has caused me problems. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I've got mostly the only thing uh, up to speed. I'm at yellow. I've done good work with her. Why did you stab me? It was her? a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. Okay. Temporary clarity. Nope. Temporary insanity. Who's to say who is sane or insane? We all see the world differently, don't we? Okay, I cleared that up. We still don't have- David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. Parents! I had the main house to myself. I'm an only child and my parents are both dead. Naturally, I inherited everything. Okay. I think that's everything about her at this point. Just David. David and Decker. Oh, and parents. Oh, only child. I think we'd get along a lot better if you stuck to asking me one question at a time. Child? David wanted children, but I didn't. I don't think we would have made very good parents. There's no mystery to it. Some people are just not cut out to be parents. I don't think I can see either of us wiping sticky fingers or mending grazed knees. Okay. I don't know. Yep. Sorry. Hmm. Only? Sorry. I don't know. I'm an only child and my parents are both dead. Naturally, I inherited everything. It was an accident. Oh! But I don't feel like talking about it at the moment. Okay. Still have more of David and more of Decker. Anything in the notes? Nope. dead. Let's go back to Decker. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Let's try. Sorry. Nope. I don't know. Still more about David, still more about Decker. Hmm.
He hunts, but he's unhealthy. Doesn't make sense. Okay, moving on. She's still red? Let's try Bryce. Who is this dude? Oh, he looks like a dude. I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? I can't help you there. Well. Hmm. Okay. I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know <laughs> Dr. Decker? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Okay, that's not... Bryce... Hemmings. I don't have anything for you. Uh... Say hello. Okay, so what's wrong? Originally, I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. Okay. Apparently, I've gone a little mad. For me, I have 25 hour days. Okay. You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. Okay. Is that something I should know about? Uh, okay. It's a bizarre thing. To know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking it is. What do you think, Doctor? I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis, but it's good you're having a go anyway. I've taken a lot of pictures. I have great shots of all the tourist sites. It's amazing what exposure you can use when moving cars are literally frozen still. Must be the sharp focus. Huh. Okay. Extra hour camera. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. 
In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. In the extra hour, I mainly catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all at once. <sighs> okay. You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Okay. Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Uh. I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. A queen, I believe. The best chess piece. The most freedom of movement. But they took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists are finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the Queen. <coughs> yeah. I like chess. Yeah. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. Okay. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the Queen. I have to ask about opponents. That doesn't mean anything to me. I do like to be in control, but then I suppose most people do. Nobody wants life to carry them along helplessly. Everyone wants to kick against it and make their own way. Do you like to be in control, Doctor? I don't know. That's meaningless to me. Okay. I do like to be in control, but then I suppose most people do. Nobody wants life to carry them along helplessly. Everyone wants to kick against it and make their own way. Do you like to be in control, Doctor? I have no knowledge of that. No, sorry. So weird. Okay, back to shovel. Henley Church, where I work, is Henley located Church. on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. Gotta do that. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Henley Church is relatively small. Well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists. Really? They handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Huh. 
I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, not, not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? I don't know. Huh. I'm not sure God would have given a man an extra hour a day, not just a single man. My extra hour is a gift, but sometimes it's a curse. I sound like I'm complaining, don't I? <laughs> I'll stop now. Hmm. Okay. Still got to deal with Scientologists. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? No. Nope. Takes me to Scientologists. What about planning? I do like to be in control, but then I suppose most people do. Nobody wants life to carry them along helplessly. Everyone wants to kick against it and make their own way. Do you like to be in control, Doctor? Helpless. I don't have anything for you. No, sorry. I can't help you there. Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Allegedly, Henley Church is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey castle. I say allegedly because a relic was found and dated around that century, but the archaeologists haven't found any further proof as yet. Huh, okay. You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. I have no knowledge of that. Is that something I should know about? Hmm. 
I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Nothing. Planning Scientologists. The extra hour. What is this? There's nothing. He doesn't respond to Decker at all. That doesn't mean anything to me. That's meaningless to me. I have no knowledge of that. He's gonna make Well, we've got time. Acting weird. One blacks out. One's in Groundhog Day. One gets an extra hour. Let's go back to Nathan. Let's go back to Mariana. That doesn't mean anything to me. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Nope. Don't know. <laughs> Why does it start us on Mariana? Because she's got boobs? I wish you could just see each patient. Okay. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? Okay. That's Nathan. Tell me about I do board. suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Huh. Okay. Then I went off to Elin. That's Decker. I gotta come back to Mariana. That's Claire. Bryce. No. Next. 
figure. Hint. She asked whether I like dancing. I should answer yes or no. Yes. I have no idea about that. Okay. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? I like dancing. I don't know. It doesn't respond. Yes, I like dancing. Cool. I dance to anything with a beat. <laughs> okay. Well, that was enlightening. Yes, I like dancing. Nothing there. want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? Can I go dancing with you? Uh, no. Uh, uh, uh. Perhaps Mariana should stop going to the beach or have somebody watch or record her. Um, ooh. Can I tell Bryce? myself doing um, lots of things but it's not so easy to do when you're blocked out somebody tells me it's going to kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? That's a shame. You need to have a passion for something, Doctor. not really helping with my blackouts. Okay. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I blackout. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. I feel like there's something I should be doing that I don't know how to do. Um, let's go back out here. Act progress, 
87% go to help. Don't just grill people about the murder. Try and help them. Ask them how they are and try to find the root of their problem. If nothing else, it may uncover the motives you're looking for. Be specific. Draw a conclusion. Oh, so if they're yellow, I've got everything. The more I uncover, play help video. That's it. <sighs> wow. Okay. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. How long can you? answer for that. Ah! <sighs> I got everything else. Do you have a 
good I've relationship. I've been patient here for three months. Today is my patient birthday. Do I get a cake or something? I don't know about that. <laughs> No, I don't know about that. That doesn't mean anything to me. Will you do it for me? Will you watch me to see what happens? So, it's a date then. I'll let you know when. That's what Dr. Decker would say. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. I hope you are. Okay. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. I hope you are. Okay. Dr. Decker could really get inside you. Ooh. It was, uh, Say. Unsettling. But you let him do it. Part of the process, I guess. Uh, uh. Tell me about your blackouts. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? The police keep picking me up for public nudity. Oh, hey, that's new. I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with nudity. me. Nudity. Isn't that how it works? The police keep picking me up for public nudity. Public nudity. I black out. Yeah. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. No, I don't know about that.
No, nothing like that. I usually wake up on my side like I've been sleeping. Sometimes I'm partially covered by seaweed. Okay. I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. I think they think I'm a naturist or something. <laughs> they picked me up five times in the last month. I have no idea about that. I spelled that wrong. Yeah. But, uh, uh. answer for that Just I black, black out. out and then the next thing I remember I'm naked on the beach like I've been washed up on shore nobody's pressed charges yet but I can feel it the police are getting suspicious nothing there Okay. Okay. Let's hit it. Ellen. Elin. Okay. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. Okay. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. I haven't really got anything to say about that. Maybe we should talk about you. Yes, I love my job. I love my patients. Even the really crotchety ones, you know? God, you should hear what comes out of their mouths. But they're like my children in a way. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Yes. Uh... No, sorry, I don't know. Uh, what comes out of their mouths? No, sorry. Uh... Your children? I don't have any kids. Maybe I will one day, I don't know. At the moment, all my energy is focused on taking care of my patients. Okay. Okay. Banging these out. I feel like it's almost criminal. Like you're robbing people of their last moments on Earth. You should be able to savor the experience, not sleep your way to death. Oh. Savor the experience? I'm not saying anyone should be happy about dying. I've seen lots of people die, and it's a special moment. There's literally nothing else like it. No, I don't like it. I feel lucky to share that moment with them. 
to be there with them when it happens. You know what I mean. Ooh. She's creepy. Uh, okay. Gotta go back to Elin. Nathan. Where's Marietta? Elin. Great unknown. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but... I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure or where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? I don't know anything about that. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. Hmm. Okay, what else? Come on. How long have you seen Decker? Uh, I've been seeing him for about nine months, I nine think. Months. I think it's terrible what happened to him. So awful. No one deserves to die like that. Okay. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who yeah. think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. It's worse than bidding. I'd really like to be able to answer you, but I don't know what to say. I don't know. Sorry. I got nothing else there. A lot of doctors. I feel really bad. I can't answer your questions. Um, I like animals. Let's talk about that. Hannibals or cannibals? She likes cannibals. Anything else? Yeah. Okay. Clear. Oh, she's yellow. Yay. Let's go to Claire. Illusions, as in seeing things that are not there. I'm not going to be any more specific. It's not true in any case. I'm not delusional. To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me.
To be fair, there was only one violent outburst. Outburst, That hardly okay. qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me. I stabbed him with a steak knife. Shocking, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we're good with Claire. Let's bang on to Bryce. What do I have left with Bryce? No, I didn't know Decker. He was an antagonistic psycho. I hope you're not from the same school of thought. Okay. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. And people are dying quicker than we can bury them. <laughs> okay. Um... What else do we got? No. Yes. There are too many religions. Then we agree. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable, and the part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts. It's more likely they've all got it wrong than one of them has got it right. I didn't really like Dr. Decker, and for quite a few reasons, actually. Okay. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. Oh. Continue, yes. Oh, Doctor, glad I caught you. I thought you uh. might want to hear what Ben had to say. Quick catch up. I'm not sure we hey. will be coming in for a while. Eyes, eyes up. I'm pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. And for some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. Yes, Ben found Dr. Decker's body on Valentine's night in his office, in your office. Uh. I don't know what Dr. Decker was doing here and my services weren't required that evening. He'd often stay late though, so it wasn't that unusual. Uh, I'm not sure. Come on. Or Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding, finding the body. The I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line, line of work. Of work. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. Sorry, didn't you know? Ben's one of the night shift cleaners. I'm sure he's got some tales he could tell. Uh. 
police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night, you know, when the body was found. I was at home, all, oh. all on my lonesome. So I guess that makes me a suspect. Okay. Yes. Ben found Dr. Valentine's body night. on Valentine's night in his office. In your office. Yes, you know, the 14th of February, the day of love. Or remembering a massacre. Whichever's more you. She's acted up a storm, this lady. The police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night, you know, when the body was found. I was at home, all, all on my lonesome. So I guess that makes me a suspect. I think the police want you to make a short list of suspects, or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. Shouldn't we have seen There was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew, or someone who had access to the office. Yeah. Like little old me. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Yes. Okay. What's here? Okay. I think the police want you to make a short list of suspects, or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. There was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew, or someone who had access to the office. Yeah. Like little old me. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. They did mention I needed grief counselling, though, and I said you'd sort me out. I know you didn't agree, but I thought I'd let you know. That's very kind of you. Okay, I can move on. I think that's all. Yes. I'm having a loop day. <laughs> oh, just Nathan. Where were you on Valentine's Day? I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. What? I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Okay. It's a do-over day. You won't remember. What's the name of your assistant again? What is the name of my assistant? I don't remember. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Hmm. Oh yeah, try ya. You didn't know that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah?
No. No, we played that game together, but we didn't meet in it. Well done, Doctor. Yeah, we met at secondary. Wouldn't it be funny if my day loops if you fail to get a question right? Well done, Doctor. Yeah, we met at secondary. Wouldn't it be funny if my day loops if you fail to get a question right? I agree. I'm having a loop day. <laughs> It's a do-over day. You won't rem remember. What's the name of your assistant again? Hmm. I suppose you did remember that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Yeah, at secondary school. It's been fun, but... I've got a pill. Dr. Decker gave me this pill. He told me if I took it, I'd never have another loot day. It's got a small skull and crossbones on it. Should I take the tablet, Doctor? You're cool. I don't think this is getting us anywhere, though. I'll see you tomorrow. Again. I'm having a loot day. <laughs> it's a do-over day. You won't remember it. What's the name of your assistant again? Well done. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Yeah, great. Is there anything you can say that's going to break this loop for me? Well done. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Yeah, great. Is there anything you can say that's going to break this loop for me? I never mentioned a pill this time, or a tablet. What the hell is going on here? Are you reliving my days? I never mentioned a pill this time, or a tablet. What the hell is going on here? Are you reliving my days? Something somewhere has changed since you arrived. Like some kind of sim theory. Some kind of sim theory? Something sim somewhere theory. has changed since you arrived. Like some kind of sim theory. It's a thing. Some professor believes we could be living inside a computer simulation and someone <laughs> is controlling us. And there are millions of these sims. 
and someone somewhere behind a keyboard is just causing havoc. I'm starting to think you have that keyboard, Doctor. Wait, don't answer that. I don't want to know. <sighs> Do I have to do it again? At midnight each day. Oh. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. 20 minutes past 10. Keep up, Doctor. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. I was at home. David as my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And Laurie just... Naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? Act two! Ooh. Hi, Jaya. Deja vu. Are you sitting in exactly the same place I left you last night? Oh, that's where it all starts, Doctor. Hmm. Anyway, do you think you can fit me in today? Looking at the diary, it's just the usual suspects, and you must be getting sick of them already. I've got this for you, too. It's some more footage from Professor Alderby that was hiding away. Evidence added. Alderby footage. Come find me if you need anything. Okay. I think I'm going to call it here. So, uh, no one chatted with me, but I'm going to look later and see if anybody actually showed up. Uh, okay. Um, thanks for watching. This is a fun little game. I, once I got the whole, the hang of it, um, I didn't realize how to answer the questions, so uh, now I know. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I'll probably be around on Sunday. Okay, bye.